30 years ago, if you had predicted what a pop group should look and sound like in the space age year 2000, you would have imagined a group as high-tech, as beguiling, as mischievous, as otherworldly, as art of noise. Futurists by name, futurist by nature. But they love the past as well, because the past is as mysterious as the future. They went back to the end of the last century, to the compositions of the French musical genius Claude Debussy. His harmonic promiscuity and rhythmical fluidity had directly influenced jazz, which in turn, just the beat alone, had influenced rock and pop. Debussy was the godfather of all 20th century music, and he was as modern in his thinking as anyone will ever be. As modernists, honoring the modern world, Art of Noise call their newest album The Seduction of Claude Debussy. The radical, timeless musical ideas of Debussy, embraced by the studio wit and sonic inventiveness of Art of Noise, has produced the most dramatic way of summarizing and sensationalizing 20th century popular music. The seduction of Claude Debussy is 20th century music in a computer-generated nutshell. It is Art of Noise opening the door onto the 21st century and seeing that the best way forward is by using the imagination. The questions remain. Who? What, where, when, why are the art of noise? How are the art of noise? Well, they're very well, thank you. In a way, there are no answers to the questions about the art of noise. There are just more questions. What did they have for breakfast? What is their favorite color? What happens next? But one thing is certain about art of noise, and perhaps this forms the one answer that there can be to any questions about the group. And it's the best answer possible. The answer is the music. The answer is that in the spring of 1999, the seduction of Claude Debussy by Art of Noise will be released on ZTT Records. This is a matter of fact. It's the fact of the matter. Everything else is just fiction. Is it okay if I take this mask off now?